In this section, you will learn how to add domain models and create database using entity framework. So these are the things you will learn in this section. Understand entity framework, create domain classes, add database access class, setting connection string to connect to the SQL server, adding DB set, create database using entity framework methods. And finally, we will verify the database in SSMS that is called SQL Server Management Studio. And then at the end of this section, I will give you some exercises. So let's understand what is Entity Framework. Entity Framework is the tool we use to access the database. Uh, before Entity Framework, developer used to write ADO.NET code to save or retrieve application data from the underlying database. This was a cumbersome and error prone process. Developer had to create domain classes and then had to replicate all those classes in database to store the data. Entity Framework Object Relational Mapper automate all these database related activities and automatically map our domain classes to the database. So now developer can work at high level of abstraction without worrying about creating and updating the database. Entity Framework provide a class called dbcontext. Uh, which is the gateway to our database. A DB context can have one or more DB set, uh, which represents the table in our database. We use link that is called language integrated query to query DB set and entity framework translate link query to SQL query at runtime. Then it opens the connection and read the data from tables and add back to our DB set in DB context. If we add, modify or delete any domain class associated to the DB set, then also Entity Framework keep track of those changes and update the database when we run update database commands. So this is how Entity Framework works. There are two different approaches we can follow with Entity Framework. One is code first and another one is database first. In code first approach, we first create domain classes and then we add database migration and run update database commands. Entity Framework then create the SQL statement and run it on database to create, update or delete the associated table into database. DB first approach does exactly the opposite of this process. We will use code first approach in this course. So next we will create two domain classes model and make for our application.